Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Vanessa. Today I'm going to be filming a glowy summer makeup look for you guys and um, I'm not going to be using any foundation, just like concealer, just you know, having a natural glowy look. Um, so let's just get started. Okay, so to start, um, I've already washed my face and I've already done my skincare routine. So um, the next thing that I do is I go in with my sunscreen and this one is just by Claire's and um, it's the Soft Airy UV Essence um, sunscreen and it is SPF 50 and it's also vegan friendly. So I usually just put this on my face and I'm using my iPad right now because I don't have a mirror. So I'm just gonna be looking here probably a lot. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, but I've recently been liking to put on the sunscreen first and it actually helps with the glow it makes me feel like it looks more glowy if that makes sense okay so I will also link everything in the description for you guys just in case you guys are interested in purchasing any of it um, so next I usually go in with concealer but um, there are times where in weren't but there are times that when I use um, tinted moisturizer, so this is actually the tinted moisturizer that I use, but I'm not going to be using it today. Um, but this is one that I've been using, it's by um, Smashbox, and it's the Halo Healthy Glow All-in-One Tinted Moisturizer, and it has SPF 50 in it. Um, and I'm in the shade Light Neutral. Um, but yeah, this works really well. It's got like it doesn't give a lot of coverage but it makes it look really natural oh my god my voice it makes it look really natural and it just looks like your skin so it looks i actually really like the way it looks on my skin so um but yeah that's what i usually use um i have like everything in this small little pouch because i went to dallas a while back so I still have everything packed in here. Um, so next I go in with my concealer and I've been using this one and it's by Coverfix and um, it's the shade N Light 2. So it just looks like this. And I usually just put it in the areas that I need most. So like my eyelids, my eyelids. I usually just put it here and recently I went to the beach so I got a little bit more tan and I feel like I don't even really like the shade doesn't go with me anymore but oh well that's all I have right now and then I just go in with my beauty blender and just blend it all in I feel like I, before, I would put the concealer also on like any blemishes that I have, but um, recently I've been wanting to get something that's more closer to my skin tone because I feel like when I put the concealer on the blemishes, it just kind of like looks like the wrong color and it doesn't really give much coverage towards like my blemishes. It makes me look really pale in the video, but... I promise it's not that light, I don't think at least. I'm pretty sure it's not this light, but we'll see. I can fix it. Okay, so I do like to go in with my powder only under my eyes so that it doesn't crease. Um, but I usually just put a little bit. And so, oh wait, I forgot to show you guys. I use um, this one and it's by Locket and it's the translucent powder. Um, I've had this one for like about a year or two and it's actually lost me a while. But yeah, that's what I'm going to be using and I'm just going to be putting it um, underneath my eyes just to bake it for a little bit but not too much because I still want to get the glowy look. shirt 
Um, and so while that's baking, I usually like to do my eyebrows. Um, recently I have just, I sometimes like to leave them natural because my eye, uh, um, my eyebrows are naturally like really dark. So, um, I usually just brush through it first and then I've been just using this by Maybelline and it's like a, it says Tattoo Studio and it's in the shade 382 Black Brown. So, oh my gosh, it's like really dark. But yeah, I've just been using this and I just use this like angled brush that I have and I've just been filling in my eyebrows with that. Sorry if I'm not looking at the camera, it's kind of hard, it's kind of hard to do this on camera. I'm just going to use my iPad. <laughs> I might actually just use my phone at this point because it's smaller. I think that's fine. And then I'm just going to like brush through it real quick just so that it can blend in. I'm just going to use my brush and wipe away the um, powder. Next, um, I like to use my Hoola bronzer and I actually put that on my eyelids um, and I am running out of it. I just use my finger and I just go and put it all over my eyelids. Next I am going to be putting on blush and I've been using this by Glossier and it's in the shade Storm and it's cloud paint. It just looks like this. I usually like to put it on the back of my hand so that I can then, um, just apply it little by little because it is a lot. So I usually just put about like that much and I just put it on my cheeks. And then I blend it out. And then I also like to put some on my nose a little bit. It looks like a lot, but it usually comes off after a while. Um, and then sometimes I like to use the beauty blender and I just pat it. Um, but yeah, I just pat it in just so that it blends in and doesn't look like too much um, and usually it does help with um, getting it all blended out and then I like to use um, highlighter and I've been using this one and it's also by Glossier and it's the Haloscope Hel Haloscope and it's in the shade Quartz and I usually, it just looks like this and I usually just use my finger and then I just apply it up here. And then I also like to put it on my nose. And then the next thing that I do is I put on mascara and I usually just curl my eyelashes first before. And then I've been using this mascara and it's by It Cosmetics and it's um, called Lash Blowout 
and it just looks like this. I think I've showed it in like other videos, but um, I really like the way that it applies and it's not very like clumpy or anything like that, but I'm running out. I'm running out so it is a little bit clumpier. This one's actually the one that I'm running out of. I have another one. Um, this one is not as dried up, um, but I just like to apply this on my lashes. Okay, so that is it for mascara, and so for the lips, I usually have, oh, I usually have um, two different um, ones that I use. So this one is more of a matte lips lipstick, I guess. Um, this one's from Glossier, and it's Generation G in the shade Leo, and I really like this one. It's more of like a nude um, matte lip and then this one is the ultra lip and it's in the shade catch cache cachet cachet I don't know but this one's really like glossy and it's more also nude so um, I guess I'm not really sure which one to use but since it's more of like a glowy look I guess I'll just go with the lip gloss So this is the final look and it's super simple, super easy and glowy and I've been really really liking it recently. It is perfect for the summer and um, yeah so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you guys are interested in any of these products I will link them down in the description for you and I will see you guys next week in my next video. Bye!